We're here in Chicago at Expona 2024. It's going to be a great show. Check out our coverage. And please check out our Facebook page, the fastest growing audiophile Facebook page, over 12,000 members in three months, the listening chair with Howard Neller Group. I'm Howard Neller. I'm Kemper Holt. And welcome to The, the Listening, listening chair. chair. We're here in the room of Luxman America. And uh, Luxman brought a bunch of components to the show this year and several new ones. So we have with us John Prevel, who's uh, Luxman's vice president of sales. And John's going to walk us through it. And we're excited to hear John. With no further ado, let's roll the tape. John, thanks so much for having us, and we'd love to hear what you got for us. Well, we're introducing some new products at uh, Exponent uh, 2024. Uh, this year, we have our brand new flagship preamplifier, the uh, C10X, which features a radically different distortion reduction circuit, as well as uh, a very new uh, volume attenuator called Lakua EX. The sound quality is amazing. Uh, that Preamplifier is connected to two M10X power amplifiers running okay. in dual mono, powering the Magico uh, speakers okay. that we're using in this demonstration. Feeding this uh, preamplifier, two new source units from Luxman, uh, recently available this year, our new network transport NTO7, okay, and our new phono preamplifier. It's a uh, North American uh, exclusive introduction, our EO7, okay. which will be uh, available later this year. NTO7 is available right now. So we're very excited about these pieces because uh, uh, they enhance the, the enhanced sound quality and functionality of the, both the NTO7 and the, the EO7 make the Luxman premium system more uh, functional and more useful than ever before. Well, let me interrupt you for a second. So you're saying that is it improved on the C10X? Is it improved volume uh, attenuator? Volume attenuator and, and much lower distortion. But, but I've, seen, I've seen the volume attenuators that you guys have used before, and they've been works of art. And without getting too technical at all, or even if you even know, I mean, what could they have done to make this? I mean, it was really, it was a visually gorgeous, and it, was, it worked so well. Yes. So, so Mechanically, it's been enhanced so that the, the, the actual rotary uh, encoder that you turn has a much more user-friendly feel to it and, and an ability to uh, more finely control volume from a very low level to a high level with, uh, with not so much uh, short stroke. And also, there are more steps to this volume control than its predecessor. 100, 192 st uh, steps versus 88 in, the, in its predecessor unit. So much finer control of volume control this year from know, the new unit. I know that you've always had a very linear volume control. This, is, this is much improved. This is the next level, the next step up. Great, great, okay. Um, what else do we have? Well, obviously we've got this, as I said, the new EO7, which is our new phono preamp. This is a North American first introduction of it. As a matter of fact, this unit was hand carried from Japan by our our uh, corporate staff that are attending this show. Okay. It it unlike our our previous unit uh, that was our pre premium model. It this one is not vacuum tube uh, based. This one is all FET based and transformer based on the moving coil section, but has a multitude of adjustability to it over and above our predecessor model. So more phono cartridges, more types of phono cartridges can be interfaced with this uh, and, and played out through the system. A lot of companies are putting into one box doing more like streaming integrated amplifiers. Is that something you guys see yourselves doing? No, no. Uh, the engineering group at Luxman thinks that that, uh, that type of compromise is, is not the direction that uh, we want to go in. We, we all know that on the, uh, on the, the DAC side of things, the digital side of things, many of the chipsets go obsolete within a few years. The technology is very fast paced and they don't believe that incorporating a DAC or, uh, you know, a chip, today's chipset into a unit that will be used for years is, by the consumer, by the end user is the best way to go. Okay. They think by, by uh, maintaining a separate component for that purpose, 
it gives the user and the owner flexibility of upgrading without having to, you know, eliminate or sell off the amplifier to get the latest technology. Right. What are the, uh, like, one or two of the other major design, you know, principles that the company really strives for? Well, I mean, we're using, we're using in this, this new preamplifier uh, and was introduced in the M10 previous, we're using something called uh, LIFES, L-I-F-E-S, to manage, manage distortion and reduce distortion to the lowest levels ever seen in a Luxman product. Okay. It's, it's, it's called the LIFES is a, an acronym or abbreviation for Luxman Integrated Feedback Engine System. And uh, the engineering group is very proud of it. It's taken them years to get this thing organized and, and fleshed out through the system, but we have it now across all the components. It's fantastic. Excellent, excellent. Well, I, I can't wait to hear it. Uh, hopefully you'll play some music for us. Anything else you want to tell us about the gear you have here? Well, I wanted to uh, remind everyone that as, uh, as we head into 2024, it's, we begin uh, the uh, 100th anniversary of the company's and the brand's business. And this, this is a very important year. Next 18 months, we're going to be rolling out some additional very cool special pro uh, products um, in, in anticipation of the 100th anniversary and to commemorate the 100th anniversary. And we want to welcome everybody to, to, to watch what we do in the coming months. It Sounds be great. A lot of fun. Sounds great. Thank you very much. And just a final question for you. Um, some people might be wondering, there's a very pretty pair of speakers here that, uh, dry, that are being driven here. So what do we have? Well, as I said, that's the Magico uh, okay. S3 2023 version. This is the latest uh, variant of the S3 model. And uh, they're available here in this really beautiful blue metallic finish. It's quite stunning, actually. Awesome. But, as, but as good as they look, they sound even better. No, I've, I've actually heard them, and they are, they are quite good. Uh, let's, I'll leave you with one final thing. So we were talking before, I wrote an article on it once, but actually, Luxman is one of the oldest electronics companies in Japan and in well, the world. Even. And that, that's a fact. So the company's origins go back to the, the beginning of uh, radio broadcasting and the need for radio receivers worldwide, but specifically in the country of Japan. The company was started by two brothers that went from managing and owning a, a picture frame store to developing uh, AM radio receiving products for the fledgling NHK, which was the national broadcasting network for AM radio in the country of Japan. So 1925, we're now at 2024, we're moving toward 25 and these, these incredible anniversary products that are planned. That's quite a history that most people don't know about. That's correct. Well, that's super interesting, John. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to, in a couple of minutes here, if you can play some, some tunes for us. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks, John. We really appreciate it. Dress this as black as my heart on this train. 